We're going to be painting those jigs that we made the other day. Um, there's a couple of different methods for heating up your uh, jigs here before you paint them in this fluid bed. Um, you could either use a candle and hold it on the flame for a little bit just to get it heated, like probably a few seconds or so. Or you can hold it over that lee melting pot. I'm going to be pouring more jigs, that's why I have that out. So we'll see how this goes. So we're just going to heat it up, holding it by the eye. I'm new to this, so trying to figure it out as I go as well. But I'm just going to hold this over this. Probably going to need to invest in a torch to make this go a lot faster. I might end up picking back up with the torch. Because this is going kind of slow. Here I am getting a torch for heating up my jigs for painting them. There's a couple options. There's this one for 27 bucks, and there's this one down here for about 16, and this one for 27. I'll probably just go with this one. I decided to go get a torch here because that method I was using earlier wasn't working at all. So basically we'll just take this and just kind of hit it with the torch real quick for a few seconds just to heat it up nice. Got to be careful so you don't melt your lead. And just dip it in like that. That's pretty much it. Put that there.
So as I've said, this is the first time that I've ever painted my own jigs. But you'll just want to hold it on here for a few seconds. You'll be able to figure it out as you go. But like some of these, you know, they'll come out like real clean looking. Um, and that paint will melt right on that jig. But I think regardless, you're supposed to be baking these at 350 degrees for 20 minutes. But see how clean that comes out. I'm not really sure if you still need to bake that or not, but I'm still going to. See, and I'm not really too worried about the uh, eyelets getting painted there. Um, you can probably chip that off before you cook them or just leave them as that. I don't really mind either way honestly so I'm just going to leave them. And this will be the last pink we do. And then I'm going to switch over to that chartreuse one and I'll show you those ones as well. But this is the last pink and then we're going to put this bed away. Oh, heated that one a little too much. Melted the lead. So you just gotta pay attention to that. So now I'm gonna cook these in the toaster oven at 350 degrees for 20 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and go pop these in while I finish up these chartreuse jigs and I'll show you those once I get them in the toaster oven up there. So here they are in the toaster oven. I'll leave them in here for 20 minutes. I just made sure none of them were touching because I'm not sure if they'll stick or not, but I just made sure I separated them. I just used a stick to separate all of those. So we'll see how they look after 20 minutes. We're going to start doing the chartreuse ones. Um, so the directions on the jig paint deal here say you hold the jig on there for anywhere from 4 to 10 seconds. So just depending on the jig size. So we'll go ahead and get to it. Now it's been about 20 minutes, so these look like they're all ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and pull them off and let them cool. Now I'm popping in the chartreuse ones for 20 minutes, and you want to make sure that they're not touching because some of the ones I had were touching, and the paint busted off because they stuck to each other.
this is one of those things that you will only get better at of course you know you may start off and it's not working out the way you expect it but I think with more practice you'll get good at this try to touch up these ones right here see if I can have any success doing that because there's some of these that got knocked off uh, knocked off some chips right here so I'm going to just heat that up and See if we can fix that. Got to be better than the chunk missing though, that's for sure. So we'll just keep repeating this process until we're done with all of our jigs. Make sure none of them are touching. So that's it. These are done now. Um, you can cut these uh, eyelets out, dig out the paint off of those, or you could do it before you cook it. I don't really care either way, so I just let that cook like that, but I'll cut it off afterwards as I need to. But they turned out pretty well. So after painting a hundred plus jigs, still got quite a bit of uh, jig paint left from these 